This is my clutch reinforcement panel that goes on the firewall. Bought it from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. Cost a hundred and five dollars or so. It's just a piece of stamped metal. It's about oh I don't know eighth inch, three sixteenth inch thick. Fairly stout enough, and it comes with instructions. It comes with um, let's see. Yeah, this was a hundred and three dollars and twenty four cents for this shipped. And then it comes with the uh, instructions and blah, blah, blah. It comes with how to do it. This is a known problem on these older trucks. But basically while you push on the clutch, everything shifts forward because it's actually broken through. I'll go ahead and put a clip of that up. So at this point I'm removing the two 9 16 inch nuts off the back side here. You have one on this side and one on that side and then you can remove this off to pull it forward. Once your uh, first two set of nuts is off, go back, move this little uh, deal right here and you got one more nut holding the master cylinder onto the brake booster. And this is what causes your brake booster to go bad. The booster itself is probably all right. But all this corrosion and stuff causes cracks and pitting into this metal, allowing it to lose its vacuum. So I'd say right there is our culprit right there. But now we get to go and replace all this. You can just reach in there and pop it out. That's all that is is a check valve. It's probably going to have a little vacuum on it. But that's all that is. So you gotta remove these bolts here, and they are eight millimeter. There's one there, one here, and one down here. And it looks to be all that I can find so far. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this set of nuts right here off the master cylinder, one at the bottom. Somebody put a one at the top as a bolt. But uh, yeah, go ahead and remove those two so you can remove everything. To finish getting the column removed, you're going to need to take out this bolt right here. It's a 13 millimeter. We're going to have to go ahead and remove these two knobs here. I've got another video showing that. So just roll it around until you see this little indention. Use a pick or a screwdriver to push that little tab back and then just pull off. And so we went ahead and removed this lower knee at this point, you're going to need to remove this with either a Torx head bit or a 7 millimeter socket. All right, the four bolts you see right there are 15 millimeter. There's one over here. You can see it there. And it'll take a really deep socket to get over everything. So 15 millimeter, and then that will let the brake booster come out. All right, just wanted to point out that it was 15 millimeter for these two bolts on mine, but these other two, bottom and top, are 17 millimeter. I don't think it's the way it came, but I think that was the previous owners when they put the five-speed swap in. Yeah, so at this point, you're going to need to remove this little red pin. And then from there, you're going to have to remove the neutral safety switch. And then that way, that when you remove all that slide it off of this little nub here, and then it relieves everything and lets you pull the booster out. You're gonna to need to remove this from here. It's actually supposed to have a little plastic piece with it, but apparently that broke out a long time ago and people didn't actually fix it right. So go ahead and remove that at this point and just let it fall out, you know, like it did. So now we need to take out these five bolt there's one here, there, all the way around. They're 10 millimeter. 
at this point we got to drop the steering column so these two bolts right here are 14 millimeter actually holds everything up and from there we'll keep to finish dropping the column we're going to need to remove this electrical connection right there so go ahead and do that at this time on the back side of this once you get this selector undone you have another gray connector you have to undo so that the steering column can drop uh, we just removed the master cylinder for the clutch on mine somebody had done two 13 millimeter bolts and nuts so it could be different on yours but that's yeah so we've got everything cleared off removed master cylinder is free for the clutch brake booster is completely removed because i got another new one to go on i need to clean off the back of this master cylinder here with a wire brush get all that crud out of there clean it up and get it ready for the new and we're just about ready for the actual clutch reinforcement panel piece to go in. So we've got the new plate kind of mocked up. You can see how it fits. Now you're going to need a hammer and a pry bar to make it fit perfect. But it mine went in pretty well straight, but you might have to, as per the instructions, might have to dent it a certain way or make it fit to the metal. But yeah, go ahead and stick you a couple of these bolts in and one of the bolts for your master cylinder to positively put it in. Because once it goes in, it goes in. And then from there, you got to remove the cowl on top of the engine bay so you can drill the holes and install these. And what these do is once you install them, it cinches everything tight from the top. Otherwise, you're just going to be about in the same boat you was already. Just wanted to highlight some stuff on this brake booster. Uh, this is the factory one that came out of the truck. This is the one they gave me. It's considerably smaller, as you can see here. Uh, probably a good two inches diameter smaller. So I'm assuming that's for a gas setup, but it should be fine for what I need. Now, something I've taken away. Now this says that it fits. And it looks to be what fit here perfect. The clutch, I mean, uh, well, I guess you call it a clutch rod. It's the little rod that goes out the end is different. As you can see here, this one's centered, this one's offset. And you can see why this one was leaky. And it just corroded up and stuff. So, again, we're going to have to clean everything up, put the new in, and be done. But aside from that, we're on the downhill side. We'll put this in, get it in, and then we'll start putting that panel in here in just a second. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and install the master cylinder back. Remember, you've got a stud on each side, plus another stud to have this little metal tab locator deal here that was here earlier. So don't forget. So aside from literally cutting off half of the instructions i'm on the downhill slant i've already got my new brake booster put in place right now i'm putting the uh the brake pedal back together or such like that which is literally just this has to snap back on just like it came off well you get the idea um don't forget your little red pin that came with out do not lose that. That's a little pin for your brake pedal. And hook up my neutral safety switch. And then that section's done. I need to put the clutch master cylinder back in and bolt that together. Put the push rod through. Hook it up here. And then I need to put the steering column back in. And from here on, it's just a reverse of what we've been taking apart. <laughs> 